Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can figure out what your password on Google, your Google account is or on your Google uh, Photos is. So let's get right into it. Now, uh, to log into your account and to access any logged folders you might have, of course, you will need your account password, especially if you're on PC. And pretty much there is no way to see your password uh, once you're logged into your account since this is a very big security risk uh, if somebody stumbles upon your uh, already pre-logged into account and sees your password your gmail account or your google account will be compromised and there is no way to figure this out so uh, you should know it by heart if you plan on using it however if you don't know it and you forgot it and there's no way you can figure it out you can very easily just recover your password and change it to a new one and you can uh, start it in two ways you can go to the gmail sign in page and after entering your email you can click the forgot password link which will take you to the recovery process and or you can go directly uh, to the start of the process by going to the, this link which is accounts.google.com slash sign in slash recovery and here you'll need to enter your email or a backup email or a way in which they can directly contact you so that you can change your password and confirm your identity once you do uh, you'll be able to enter a new password and confirm your new password and then from there on uh, you will be able to use your new password so that uh, you will be able to access your account uh, now if it is possible what is recommended is to log into the recovery site from an ip address you have used since this makes it a bit easier i don't uh, really understand the technical stuff behind it but it is easier so you should try that and that is basically it uh, if you want to prevent you from getting your password in the future you can either write it down somewhere uh, on your computer or in real life on physical paper or something or you can use some password management such as firefox chrome uh, i internet explorer and edge already have built in but there are other password managers which i wouldn't really recommend since they are a security risk as well but those are all things which you can use and yeah that is pretty much it hope you guys enjoy and i'll be seeing you guys in another video